Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a kit which is made in 148 scale and it copies Pokewolf 190A6. So it's a profit pack, so it means you will get several marking options, various bonuses in this box. And this is a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So first of all, box size is typical for this brand and there is no surprise in this. We have really beautiful box art here. Then on the side you can see five marking options which are included into this kit. These are, I would say, typical German Luftwaffe markings, so I think you won't be surprised by this, but they are interesting in history-wise, so there is um, interesting backstory behind any of this. Here we have also some information about manufacturer. I don't see kit QR info page, which is really strange because usually they place it here so that you can scan it, go to the website and maybe download the digital version of the assembly manual. But definitely there should be a digital version for this kit, so no worries. And this is a top opening box, let's open it. Here is what we have inside, there are two plastic bags with grey plastic spruce and then on the bottom we have assembly manual and various bonuses but we are going to start with this grey plastic and then gradually we'll move on to various other components for this kit so just give me a second to open this first plastic bag in the meantime let me remind you that if you want to support us definitely press the like button because it will help us and of course subscribe to youtube channel so that you won't miss any new video reviews here we have first gray plastic sprue let's zoom in a bit it is easy to notice that we have wing parts here and overall parts division is typical for um, aircraft kits and also for focke wolf 190 because as you can see we have separate ailerons which are traditional for Edward Focke Wolf 190. We have recess panel lines and riveting everywhere, so let's zoom in so that you can understand what I'm talking about here, for example. And everything looks fine. I mean, I don't have any complaints about such detailing, it looks decent. And as far as I remember, kit was easy to assemble, but here you can see a small thing that if you want to replicate flaps, you have to buy additional aftermarket PE set which is made by Edward with as well, so be ready for this. And here, if you flip it over, here you can see that we have quite detailed uh, guiding elements for wheel wells, which should be assembled separately, so no worries, it won't be a difficult process. And the same can be said about wing parts, because here we have various pins, which will help you with alignment. And by the way, if you get to install the PE parts, as here you can see the special border which will make it easier to cut the right section of plastic or piece of plastic so that it can be replaced with PE parts. Okay. Next we go on with another plastic sprue. This one is a bit different because here we have fuselage halves. Both are molded together with tail fin. They are quite long surprisingly, but this is 148 scale and this is not a Dora version, so um, it should be shorter than Dora. And again we have here recess panel lines and rivets. We can zoom in so that you can see external detailing for example on this half. And then we go on with another one here. Definitely think how to bring it out on your model because um, it will only benefit from this and obviously do not use a lot of paint and primer because otherwise you lose all this fine detailing on your model. Here you can see what is inside. There is no cockpit detailing at all because it will be assembled separately with help of plastic and PE. But we have guiding elements and there is a quite, I would say, developed uh, design so it should be easy to combine these parts together and definitely it will be a really quick process to glue these two together. Now I'm opening the next plastic bag so just give me a moment. Here we have several more grey plastic sprues and also there is a clear plastic sprue which is quite surprising because usually clear plastic frames were packed separately in Edward kits. So here it is, obviously bigger than previous two, so here we have mix of various parts, 
For example, here in corners you can see cockpit base, here we have engine insert, and yes, this is a just insert, so if you want the full engine, just like in the old kit, you have to get a brassin set, there is no way to get it in the original plastic kit. The same goes here, for example, landing gear legs can be upgraded for the bronze version, it will be especially handy if you plan to use a lot of resins on your aircraft and it will have a, a really large weight or big weight, noticeable weight, so that's why it will be a handy upgrade to get the bronze legs instead of plastic ones. Here we have also two types of the propeller, cockpit can be also replaced with aftermarket brassing set and note that these front coilings for the bonnet they are molded as a one-piece parts and that's really cool because you won't have any seams on such visible area some model is really fond of this feature and I think it is a, I would say beginner friendly feature because it will make it easier to assemble the front section of the aircraft. Next here we have another plastic sprue, this is a, a more of external elements, for example here we have machine gun bay covers, we also have the separate ailerons, we have separate elevators, rudder, fuel tanks, also engine gear covers, some cooling panels, tail wing parts, bombs, everything is here and again external detailing is absolutely the same as what we saw on fuselage and wing parts, so it means recess panel lines and rivets and if you flip it over here inside you can see that there are some guiding elements which will help you with alignment of all this stuff together. Okay. Next we go on with last grey plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated to mix of internal and external parts. Here for example you can see landing gear tires and there are two types of this. The same goes for the wheel rims. And also here we have several types of the instrument panel. So everything looks fine, obviously you won't be using these antennas for the night version, so they might go to your spare parts box. And even the tiniest parts will clean without any flash, so no worries, it will be a really easy and quick process to assemble this model. Especially if you plan to do out of the box version. Next we go on with clear plastic sprue, which is packed into the separate plastic bag so that it won't be scratched during shipping. So here you can see some canopy parts and obviously this two-piece design makes it possible to build an aircraft with open cockpit. It might be handy in 148 scale because you can play with cockpit detailing. As I said, there are several aftermarket sets available so you can get a really different model if you install all of them into your kit. Next we have a P fret. It is also a typical profit pack bonus. So if we zoom in, here you can see it is pre-painted. It features some um, dial glazing. Actually, I'm not seeing it. Just give me a second. Surprisingly, there is no glazing on the dials, even though all modern kits from Edward feature such uh, small thing on the dials, so if you would like to have it you will have to use a clear lacquer. Still it is a really nice upgrade for out of the box version, so if you don't want to spend extra money for brassin set, this is a must for your kit and it should be installed anyway. So don't be lazy, you know, play with these small parts, install them carefully into the aircraft and it will only benefit from such upgrade. Next we continue with pre-cut mask sheets, so these are also traditional for profi pack. They will be handy both for canopy and four wheels and I think it's a really useful bonus, so definitely will speed up the assembly process. Next we have another plastic bag with decals, so just give me a second to open it. Both decal sheets are printed in Edward, so we know that printing quality will be nice. Just to remind you there are five marking options in total and here we go. So this is the first decal sheet, let's zoom out a bit, now you should be able to see it. So here we have decals not only for external detailing but also for instrument panel in case you are lazy and you don't want to use P parts, then you can use decals, but that would be really strange to do, especially if you are supplied with P parts. But printing quality is really nice. Here I don't have any complaints at all. Next we continue with smaller decal sheet. This one is obviously dedicated to stencils. 
And as you can see, there are several versions, black and red. So it will be also a decent upgrade for your models. And again, here I recommend no, to not be lazy because some models omit this step or avoid this step. They don't apply any stencils on their models and it looks really weird. So if you are given such stencils, better apply them so that your model will benefit from such bonus. Here we have assembly manual. It is printed in form of typical Edward brochure, short history note on the first page. Then we have parts map so that you know which parts are not used. And assembly process starts with cockpit. Then we continue with fuselage and wing assembly. Note that there are some specific, I would say, upgrades or modifications for each of the marking which is included into this box. So be careful and follow the instructions because some holes will be drilled, for example, only for the marking E. Next we go on with main wheel wells assembly installation of this wing sub-assembly together with fuselage. Next we continue with coding assembly. And here we assemble the landing gear system, both front and rear, or main and rear if you prefer. Next is the canopy part, and also here we have alignment for the right um, guide for the right alignment of the landing gear legs. Here you have the canopy installation, so there are closed and open variants. Next we have mask sheet, so as I said, it is for canopy and also for landing gear wheels. And here we have bomb rack installation together with, actually this is a fuel tank, sorry. So this is a fuel tank rack or installation on the aircraft and it looks quite interesting modification. Here we start with marking guide. So this is a aircraft from Netherlands, August 1943. Next we continue with Finland, summer 1944. Here we have Germany, October 1943. Here we have Soviet Union, January 1944, surprisingly. And another one is summer 1943. And by the way, if you are surprised where is the symbol, which is usually placed here, as you can see, it is marked with special um, shape here. So don't be worried, it is drawn here and specified which decal you will need to install there. And here on the last page, we have stenciling guide for this aircraft. So as I said, this kit should be already available. You can get it on official Edward website. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.